Let me begin by thanking you, uh, all of the progressive women, and especially the Honorable Stella Okotete, for the very kind invitation to this dinner. And I'm very honored to be here with you. I also bring you the warm felicitations of the number one he for she champion in Nigeria, our president, President Muhammad Buhari, and to demonstrate his commitment to that role as the he for she champion of Nigeria. Mr. President insisted that Nigerian, that women must be given equal opportunities in all of our social investment programs. So that of the 2.4 million beneficiaries of the Government Enterprises and Empowerment Program, 1.2 million were women. That is 56.4% of beneficiaries. Women are the heart and soul of our party, the APC, and we all know it. And who doesn't know that women are our most reliable voters? It was my dear sister, the Honorable Dr. Zainab Gimba, who said that women hold half the sky. And if they get angry, they may let it fall. And if they let it fall, it will fall on women who they hold responsible for discrimination against them. So I think we must be very careful not to let half the sky fall. It is right that any society that refuses to acknowledge and deploy the skills and talents, the energy and capacity of half its population is set up for failure. It's as simple as that. And so it is with the political party also. Any political party anywhere or any organization that does not give equal opportunities to women is setting up itself for failure. So I agree that we really have no choice but to recognize the crucial position of our women and resolve to give them equal representation. And I want to, I want to emphasize that our women should be asking for equal representation, not 35% equal representation. That is what to ask for. Because I thought the women were I thought the women were busy eating. I didn't know you were still here. But anyway, equal representation is what we're asking for. While women are breaking the glass ceilings in business and in the corporate world, things are much slower in politics and in public service. And the public sector and politics especially a lot more needs to be done. And you will find that this is so all over the world. There is a need for us to ensure that women are given their fair place. It was the former president of Chile, uh, who, a, a woman of course, Michelle Bachelet, who said, and I quote, that for a better democracy is a democracy where women do not only have the right to vote and to elect, but to be elected. There is no gain saying the fact that we need more women in elected offices in Nigeria. Across the world, we are witnessing that change already. Just a year ago, the first female vice president of the US assumed office after more than two centuries after that country started having vice presidents. And right now, there are female uh, presidents or prime ministers in Denmark, in Moldova, in Finland, in Iceland, in New Zealand, in Barbados, amongst others. There you have female prime ministers or presidents. In Barbados, in fact, both the president and the prime minister are women. So at the end of last year, you, we, we, we all heard of, um, uh, of the most powerful woman ever to hold public office, Chancellor Angela Merkel, who is honorably stepped down after occupying that chancellorship for the better part of two decades. All these are inspiring stories. And I think they send a strong message to our own women and women around the world that it is possible. There is nothing that men offer in leadership that women cannot offer. In fact, in fact, I'm sure some of us came across that recent study from India that found that electing women legislators actually contributes to slightly higher levels of economic output in the constituencies. 
and this is a well this is a well publicized research so i think everything sets us all up for ensuring that women have their fair place at the table but when i looked at the theme of this conference the theme says one voice women uniting for progress one voice women uniting for progress and it reminded me of the slogan that when women support women great things happen that is true but when men help women to help women greater things will happen and i want you to and i want you to and to be sure that we men will support you so that much greater things will happen thank you very much god bless you and enjoy the rest of the evening